Okay, today I've got a different sewing machine. This is a brand new console off the arm zigzag walking foot machine. Um, I got it, I ended up with it like a, a couple years ago. I made a, a convertible flatbed table for it and I just had it sitting off in the corner for a while under a tarp and I decided to go ahead and pull it out and go through it all over again. Like I said, it's set for about a year, year or a year and a half, two years or so. So I just wanted to make sure that all the wicks are all still moist. It was brand new when I got it, so I didn't really soak it too much. But this time I really filled up the oil wells. There's one right there. Another oil well right there. You can see the, all the wicks for the bars. And... Yeah, if none of you guys have ever seen one of these, this is an incredible machine. It's really hard to find. Um, they still sell it. You can order it from console. Um, not too many sewing machine stores will have it, but um, let me go ahead and... Sorry, I just got this, <laughs> this camera and I'm just still kind of getting used to it. So it is a walking foot. There's an alternating foot, but it's backwards from a conventional walking foot. The, the double foot, presser foot, that usually um, moves along, just goes up and down, and then the alternating foot usually moves back and forth and walks. But on this, the since it's a zigzag, the needle has to stay with that center foot, the alternating foot, but that'll stay as a pressure foot. Let me go ahead and drop the... the uh, hold on a second. There we go. And you'll be able to see it, how the outside foot walks like that. And then the inside foot just stays up and down and with the zigzag up from the needle. It'll also adjust, like infinitely adjust so you can get it tuned just right to be a straight stitch. So, yeah, this thing has, since it's uh, off the arm, there's an incredible amount of gears and levers to adjust it. It runs a, a belt in there that's you don't have to service it. There's no oiling or anything for it. So you just keep that sealed up right in here. And then there's a bar that runs inside here. And here's another bar that comes off from a cam in there that moves it back and forth. That's for the, the walking foot for the lower feed dogs and there you go and there's just a ton a ton of levers on this thing let me move across here yeah you can see it's not really like a regular one <laughs> it's got a lot of external levers on it on a regular walking foot a lot of this stuff will be inside but with the zigzag, you can see here, this, this needle right here actually moves back and forth. It'll go up and down, and then it'll go back and forth this way with another lever that's right here. This lever pushes it back and forth, and that's all adjustable too. That goes all the way back to another adjustment knob right up on the front. But yeah, and then you have a typical the shaft for the for going ahead and adjusting your your walking foot. But yeah, it's an incredible machine. What I really like about this is the height adjustment. If you're going to run real thick material, and like in a lot of the other machines, they'll be able to run like uh, well, a typical one probably about like a half inch or so. But you can have it where the lift will be up a half inch when you go ahead and pull back on the presser lift right here but with this one there's an adjustment on the top where if you're gonna run thick materials you can see it's flat right now it's zeroed out right there and then the easiest way to do it is you just lift it set it right there and then you can actually make that your starting point for your material by adjusting this knob up here you can just turn this down yeah 
and then the foot will stay there. You see? And it's still, the alternating foot still works. So that way it doesn't push down completely hard on material and start ripping it up. So instead of going ahead and, you could do that on other machines too. A lot of um, upholsters will do that. If they're gonna run, um, like this is mainly made to, this machine was purposely built to do um, wetsuits and sewing neoprene. So with the neoprene, if you had it push all the way down, if you needed a high lift and it was gonna, when it comes down, it compresses all the way down on your heavy spring tension, then it'll start end up ripping up or leaving marks on your, on your material. But with this, you don't have to have it. You'll be able to lift it up higher and you won't have as much tension on it or pressure on the, on the material, but it'll still be able to feed it the way it should without compressing it completely and it's completely adjustable just by turning this that is the coolest thing I wish all those walking foot machines had that you can see the the foot actually going down just a little bit here when I turn it yeah so I've never used this for any projects of mine I, like I said I got it all set up with a, a convertible table that's the table right there it fits right in there and then it ends up with being a flat bed um, but I don't know I think I might go ahead and start taking this out and start using it I think it'll be a lot once I get used to it I think it'll be a lot easier and I'll be able to go through some projects a lot faster with that I mean even if I don't use the zigzag and just use it as a straight stitch which I'll probably do most of the time because I don't know, I don't really need um, zigzags too much. I just mainly do upholstery work. So if I was going to do a banner or something like tents or maybe like um, tarps, um, tonneau covers, I'd definitely be using that zigzag all the time. But that's it for now. I'll make a couple more videos of this. I got it all torn apart. I don't have any of the, the parts on it right now. So I'm just going ahead and oiling it all up and making sure everything's all adjusted the way it should so there it is just come back and I'll have a more videos on it and I'll go ahead and run some material through it and record it for you guys and let me know what you guys think of it thanks